three, two, one, and oh. I am clean and ready to begin. beautiful crew welcome back to another rose petal reading my energy has been feeling much better today thank you so much for your comments of support and love and encouragement i'm happy to see that the light i'm sending out into the collective is being reflected back to me and it's giving me this beautiful energy and inspiration to get up and get going no matter how many setbacks i might encounter in my practice i do need to say that as i was organizing this setup for you here um, I accidentally tripped over the table and my Buddha actually broke its neck. I had to super glue it back together and the candles just splashed everywhere. So I had to spend some extra time cleaning up everything. But no matter how many obstacles are taking place at the moment with this airy Mercury retrograde in Libra energy, I am super determined to continue and I felt really inspired to give you a beautiful free-flowing rose petal reading. Some of you commented that on my previous rose petal reading the messages felt a little bit thin, a little bit superficial and I do think a part of the problem is that I was trying to organize the energy that I was reading from the patterns of the rose petals into a specific question. So today I just decided to go with the flow. I I'm opening up the space to read the energetic patterns that I find here in the rose petal I prepared here for you today, just as they come, as they are, like in the Nirvana song, right? Come as you are. So we're going to open the space, we're going to liberate, we're going to be determined and persevere. This is the intention which I'm creating this reading for you today. I hope it is comforting, I hope it will be inspiring, and I hope that you will pick up on something that can just make your day a little bit brighter if it's not that already, or can enhance it if it's already brighter and inspired. So I have here for you today two choices. I have here a pouch filled with rose petals. It's a very modest looking pouch, but never judge a book by its cover. It contains beauty inside of it. And then we also have for group two, this Tibetan singing bowl which was kindly gifted to this channel. Thank you so much, anonymous uh, subscriber. We have here these beautiful rose petals here, yeah? So you have a choice between the pouch and the Tibetan bowl. Take a deep breath in with me right now. And go towards the object that pulls you in the most. Go just instinctively, quickly, the first thing that pulls you in, that is the thing that most likely will resonate with you. That is the thing that is in tune with your gut reaction, with your intuitive understanding of what lies in front of you. And if you've made your choice, then let's get into the reading. For those of you that selected the pouch, let's open it up. And let's see what messages need to come through for you. I'm hearing tea. So some of you could be drinking tea, green tea especially. Some of you have been learning how to make matcha green tea. Maybe how to press it. I'm seeing um, a hand pressing something in a jar. Some of you could be doing this for work, working in a laboratory, working with all sorts of substances, powders. Some of you could be doing this because you are witches in training, herbalists, mixing and matching potions. Let's see, what are these shapes here? I'm already feeling the letter B, so B is coming through, T, Z, or Z.
some of you really need to protect someone in your life at the moment there is somebody that really requires your attention somebody that you just want to put your hands around maybe you're worried about a relative maybe that you found out that a friend or a lover is sick or maybe your child is feeling a little bit under the weather I have a feeling that your maternal or paternal instincts are kicking in and you're just wanting to take care of someone. Even if you might not be a mother or a father, there's just something about this motherly and fatherly energy that is coming into your life at the moment. And you just want to expand it to someone you want to protect, you want to nurture. It's like the softness of a baby's head. That's basically what these petals are saying to me at the moment. Some of you are into the color khaki or you might be wearing khaki shorts. Um, some of you are finding it very difficult to transition from summery clothes to autumn clothes. I feel that some of you are feeling that it's really heavy. It brings you down to wear coats and boots and jackets and you don't like the fact that your movements are being restricted at the moment. Let's open them up. Some of you will be kissed very soon. You're just about to be spontaneously surprised by a beautiful kiss. Or you've been kissed and you're thinking about this kiss. Yes, I can see it here. Some of you have been kissed spontaneously by someone. And now I think you're overthinking the situation. I am guided to say that you need to just enjoy it. There's um, tenderness coming your way. Like a lot of care and tenderness. Somebody that wants to cook for you, somebody that wants to make you coffee, like they have a special technique in which they make coffee and they want to show it. They, I'm hearing that they want to show off as well in front of you. Yeah, coffee bean. I don't know why, but this makes me think of coffee bean. Some of you actually are getting into creating your own coffees. Maybe you're in lockdown at home and you're feeling a little bit bored. You're trying to get into something different. Like maybe you, you bought an AeroPress and you're finding out how to how to make coffee with it. Yeah, so I'm feeling a lot of coffee and tea for some reason. Some of you might be drinking these beverages as you're watching this reading at the moment. There's something about a mother's hat. A mother's hat is significant in this situation. Some of you will receive a message from your mother and it will be about discussions regarding your hair, a hat, something to cover your head. Oh, um, okay. Some of you could be doing chemotherapy or you're undergoing some sort of medical procedure and your mother is really concerned about your skull, your head, how protected are you. Maybe some of you are going to go into a CT scan, an MRI, and I'm, I'm just feeling a, a mother that is sending you a message through WhatsApp and asking you if you took care of that problem, if you're going to be well protected as you're undergoing this. And I feel that you're going to reassure your mother about this. For some of you, whales are significant. Maybe you're donating to a charity that protects whales. Maybe some of you are discovering that the whale is your animal spirit. Some of you could actually have seen whales. Maybe you live somewhere near a shore where you are able to, to look upon seawater. And you might have seen them dip in and out, maybe, or funnel water next to the shore. Some of you might have seen some documentaries about whale hunters and you're, you're a little bit shocked. Your heart chakra felt under attack. But it's only because it's opening up to the injustice of what is happening to the natural world. So keep your heart chakra open. It's a really important message that is being conveyed to you about how your heart is connected to the heart of these mammals, to the heart of everything in nature at the moment. Ointments. Some of you are using ointments. You're trying to figure out what ointments are better suited for your skin. Some of you have a lot of dry skin, rashes, eczema, maybe even psoriasis. There is something here about finding the adequate treatment and you're a little bit frustrated because you're going through a variety of different creams, but you can't find one that fits. I'm hearing some of them could be really fatty, others could be not so nourishing. Um, you're really... Okay, I'm hearing essential oils. A uh, cream that um, has at its basis essential oils is going to really, really soothe you. You just need to find the essential oil that fits better with your skin and uh, create another base or carrier oil. Never apply essential oils directly to your skin because it can burn it, okay? And citric oils, never put them on your skin before you leave the house and you are coming in direct contact with sunlight because, again, citric oils are highly flammable and when in contact with sunlight, they can really 
really create like a fiery rash in your skin. But yeah, I'm feeling that a lot of you are fighting dryness. I'm hearing that this is also a dry spell. For some of you, this is a dry spell on love. You haven't had sex in a very long time and you're just wondering when is this going to happen? Oh, others of you are really struggling with the with the root chakra energy, with the sacral chakra energy. It's blocked. Oof, I feel it. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's really, really blocked for some of you. We're going to bring in a rosebud into it. Okay, so blessing cleanse the root chakra energy i'm really tempted to say because i chose these crystals today and now i understand why i chose them i was really drawn to the red jasper and the carnelian carnelian is a very grounding stone it helps you unblock root chakra energies place it on your root chakra and meditate for 10 minutes you can do the same with red jasper as well and for your sacral chakra i have here yellow jasper yeah other crystals that you can use for the sacral chakra are citrine or you can use um peach selenite as well i have it here wow okay so now i see why i feel drawn to these crystals thank you spirit this is so beautiful some of you are going to uncover um, some letters, some documents that are really going to make you blush or you, they're going to send you back in, in time very nostalgically. I have a feeling some of you, okay, so I'm getting a lot of messages flooding in at once regarding this and my nose is itching. Okay, let's see how I can organize them. So, some of you are going to be in a library. You're going to be doing some research. Maybe you're studying for your thesis. Maybe you're looking for a particular document. You open a book and you find a photo that does not belong to you or is not really meant to be in that book. Like someone read the book in the same library years ago and left a postcard for their friend and you discover the postcard in a book which is about... I don't know, biology, but the postcard is about their trip to the mountainside. Something in this way, or you discover a note, somebody left a note there. Something about carry, carrying you, I'm carrying you, I'm waiting for you. Something about a chocolate bar as well. Others of you are cleaning up the attic, you're cleaning up the affairs in your house, you're going through um, the desk of one of your... Um, one of your maybe deceased relatives, this could be a great aunt, this could be a grandma or a grandpa, you're sorting out through their documents, through their affairs, and you discover some childhood photos, some memorabilia, a part of themselves that shows them to you in a completely different light than how you knew them. This is going to create such an instant intense deja vu moment like it will transport you into that realm uh, for some of you this could be with a relative for others of you it could be just by getting into the intimate world of a stranger some of you are desired by a blonde person i'm just noticing this small blonde hair it's interesting because my colored blonde hairs are actually long so i'm not sure where this is from um, but yeah, a blonde person is thinking about you, a blonde person wants you, um, a blonde person could also be sending you some flowers soon, like with, um, an anonymous carrier, just like ringing at your door, you know, special delivery at home. <laughs> okay, this is really specific, but what I'm seeing here is that some of you have been working from home and your back is really sore and you're really tired of the seating and desk arrangements. Some of you might be traveling to Africa soon or you're planning to do so. Uh, for some of you, it will be to visit some relatives. For others, it will be an interest of work. Wow, so interesting. That message was a bit hijacked by the people that were struggling a little bit with back pains due to their desk situations. I'm hearing that a trip to Ikea might save you quickly. I'm not advertising for them, but Ikea came through and I wanted to mention it, okay? Let's see. What other messages come through? What can we see in these pat? Oh my god. Some of you, okay. Oh wow, okay. Some of you recently had a very sexy encounter with somebody that really, really mm, touched your body very well. And you keep playing this in your mind. This is a person that pleased you um, sexually very well. Especially because they're very gentle. They're very delicate. And you might be a sensitive person. So you are the perfect receiver of this kind of um, tenderness from that person. 
yeah you you keep playing it over and over in your mind and others of you are fantasizing about such a sweet tender sensitive love making session and it's giving you energy like thinking about this fantasy maybe i'm hearing throughout the day as well not only at night time before bedtime i feel like it's giving you energy it's keeping your sacral chakra active it's keeping your heart chakra open um, some of you could be in the process of manifesting this oh my god it's so tender and sweet like like if you could touch these really gentle rose petals and it's interesting because these rose petals resisted the process of drying out but see how a fleur de peau it is right how delicate something so delicate something so like a precious memory and it's for some of you this is a secret you don't want to share it with anyone because keeping it a secret enhances it <laughs> now for some of you there's been a breakup there's been a separation you had an argument either with a friend or a lover i feel this happened right as mercury retrograded or um like somewhere next uh, last week next week next week there might be a chance for a reconciliation yeah i'm seeing a message coming through so there will be do you see it it's like shoo something coming through there will be a message coming through regarding the separation i just want you to see how the message kind of feels like it's an arrow and how it's kind of coming into this rift so there is a message that will heal whatever happened between the two of you coming through i'm not really getting a sense whether you will be receive whether you will be sending sorry yeah exactly so i misspoke because i think that this might be what is correct you will be receiving this message i feel like something is coming towards you i feel the speed and the force of that message coming towards you some of you are taking care of a bird you recently purchased a bird uh, maybe you found a bird that had a broken wing and you repaired it god bless thank you so much for your kindness if indeed this has happened others of you have just bought a parrot or a singing bird and you're studying you're doing research how to best take care of it how to use um, a hood to cover the bird's cage on and when and how to protect the bird um, some of you are making preserves mm -hmm. you're highly engaged in this process of gathering a lot of things for uh, the wintry months some of you might be a little bit scared about the upcoming winter, but I see that you'll be very abundant, so there's nothing to be afraid of, my love. But you're in the process right now of creating preserves, making pickles, making jams. Um, you're really afraid, I see here a little bit of fungus. Mm -hmm. You're really afraid that your turf will be taken over by other people. And I'm here to let you know that it won't. Okay, I'm just going to put this to the side because it has this fungus. Some of you are in paracetamol at the moment. Oh my god, a lot of messages about sickness. So let me just take some time right now to just bless you. God bless you. I hope that you recuperate very soon from whatever health problem you might be going through. I hope that if you're feeling low and depressed, your energy is going to spike up very beautifully because you are loved and you're taken care of. And I hope that you're... If you're going through a separation, through a difficult breakup, keep the faith. Whatever happens during, during a Mercury retrograde has a chance of going through a reconciliation at the end of this retrograde. So keep the faith. I saw it here as well. Some of you are traveling by plane very soon. You're traveling by plane with someone else. I'm not sure if this is going to be a romantic connection, but you're going to travel by plane together with someone else. So if you're worried that you're going to travel alone, no. You're going to travel accompanied by someone else. I'm hearing Taurus, Pisces, Libra, Gemini. <laughs> some of you are going to purchase some really colorful clothes. I have a feeling that you're like tired of all the gloominess around you. Um, you want to keep as much of the solar light and the memories of the summer as you can. And you're going to purchase some really funky looking boots or funky looking patterns, dress coats, hats, gloves, scarves, mittens that are just going to brighten your day up. You're going to look at that object that you purchased and you're going to feel like, 
hey, at least I'm shining. <laughs> at least I have this bright dash of color to live in my day up. That's that's a fun it's a fun way to do some sort of like I guess shopping therapy or object therapy. Taurus knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let me see if there's anything coming through. I'm hearing resist. For some of you, you need to resist something. It's really important that you resist whatever is happening at the moment in your life. It, it resist depression, resist sickness, resist people telling you what to do if they are telling you to suppress and dim your light. Resist the institution, the governmental organization that you might be at odds with. You are right. I'm tempted to say you are right here. And justice will be on your side. Oh, some of you will be attending a funeral. Oh my God, it's the first time I actually see a skull. Almost like a cadaver. Some of you will be attending a funeral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are approaching Scorpio season. So yeah, funerals, loss. But I also feel that some of you are burying a pet. I'm seeing the face, the skeleton of a bird for some reason. Hmm. Some of you could be playing Angry Birds at the moment. You're communicating, you're collaborating with a lot of people online. I see here a lot of online connections being made. Some of you are gathering a group of followers or you're joining online forums or you're discussing really important issues. Oh my god, this looks like a smiley face. Like a very creepy anime smiley face. <laughs> yeah, some of you could be into that. Creepy anime dolls or creepy animes or just animes, you know. They don't have to be creepy. Maybe I place my own judgment over this, but I'm getting a sense that it's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is something here about... Uh, mischievous playfulness for some of you. Ooh. Uh, okay, I just got the image of a whip. Mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. For some of you, this whip could be significant, okay? Anything else? An opportunity is emerging, but it's emerging very, very slowly. At the moment, it seems covered in darkness. You just have to be a bit more patient with this opportunity. And I feel that for most of you, this is a work opportunity. A work opportunity that somehow is um, flanked by two individuals. Eventually, you will have success. I'm feeling a six of wands kind of energy from these two. But at the moment, it's being clouded by two powerful individuals that are debating over whom should get this opportunity. And I think it will come to you. This might be a promotion as well. Or a decision to get you to travel someplace for field work. I feel that for those of you that were a little bit sexually repressed, that haven't had sex in a while, I think that this is coming up. I'm seeing here these waves, these really beautiful magenta colored, almost orange like waves. I feel like this, this is the energy of your sacral chakra flowing. And this is usually flowing when it's being stimulated. So either you're going to get into pleasing yourself more or receiving pleasure from someone else. This could even be a friends with benefits kind of situation that you're going to give in. And it's going to be very good for your body. It's going to be very good for your... I'm hearing um, blood circulation <laughs> for some reason. There's an overall sense of delicacy, very calm, very tender energy. And I, I feel the need to say that you will recuperate. You will recuperate, okay, my group ones? The ones that got the pouch, you know, treasures are coming from what looks bland and damp and ordinary. Treasures are coming, okay? <sighs> wow, God bless. I really hope you have enjoyed this reading. Let me know if this resonated in any way. Share with me your stories. I love to read them. I love to give you a heart, an encouraging heart of support during these trying, changing times. And I really hope to see you in my next one, Pile One, okay? Take great care of yourself. I love you. Bye. 
Hey group 2, welcome to your reading if you have chosen this Tibetan bowl. I already need to say that some messages have started filtering through. I'm getting that you guys are a little bit pressed or under pressure at the moment. And there is something about a car. You're worried about a car, you need to get to the local administration and pay the fees for a car, or you've just sent your car into service and this is blocking at the moment your mobility. And I'm tempted to say that things will be resolved, even though you might need to put a little bit more patience and effort into this situation because um, circumstances outside of your control, such as the people that are dealing with this, are also uh, being flooded with requests at the moment and they are finding it very hard to cope with their normal work duties. So you're just going to have to be a little bit understanding, but eventually I feel that any car problems, car issues are going to be resolved, okay? So let's see. Now, bearing that message in mind, that was just something intuitive that had to come through. Let's see. A promise. A promise that was made to you is about to be delivered. Someone will come through. I'm hearing this is a family member will come through with. Uh, maybe they promised you money. Maybe they promised you access to family resources. They promised you a family heirloom, a ring, an engagement ring potentially. Um, maybe a property that you would get finally the keys to that property or your share of an inheritance, your share of some stocks and bonds. Um, maybe they need to give you a book. Maybe they just offer to pay you the rent. But this took a long time coming and I feel that finally whatever they promised you is actually going to come through and it will make you feel very stable. It will make you feel like you can trust this person again. For some of you, this could also be, for a small group of you, this could also be about a lover keeping to their promise or a friend finally paying you back or doing something in return um, that shows that this is somebody that you can trust, this is somebody that you can rely on. A swan. For some reason, some of you are into swans at the moment. Either swans are your animal spirit in this period. You've just saw the, a movie with swans um, or Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky. You just listen to it or you enjoy listening to it in this period. You might be attracted to how graceful and yet strong swans are. Or you're just walking, taking long walks in the park. And every time you see swans, you feel very comforted. You feel that... Even though the weather is changing at the moment and there are all these transitional moments, all these random lockdowns and, you know, the sickness in the collective, you're feeling comforted by the sight of swans. It's almost like you see that the divine is communicating with you. You see it here, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this swan into this little promise case. Some of you are going to enter into a long-term partnership. Swans usually represent long-term commitments. They made for life. They're very protective of the young as well. I feel like there is a mountain, a mountain of pressures on you. And for some of you, this could resonate. There is a mountain of pressures and there is an outlier. Somebody that just entered your life at a moment of intense pressure and you cannot stop thinking about this person. You wish that you could make space in your life for this individual. You kind of want that this individual would pursue you at the moment, but they are going through their own self-worth journey. And I don't think this is possible to them at the moment. I feel that your paths will come together. You're meant to experience a lot of joy with this person. We have here yellow energy, right? Solar plexus energy, the sun. So let's put the outlier here. This person is really going to transform you. Um, you might feel a little bit intimidated by this individual, but they will transform you in a very good way. And you're going to have a similar effect on them. It's just that now is not the right time. You have to deal with this. <laughs> Some of you are undergoing an operation regarding sex. So maybe changing uh, sexual organs, maybe doing some sort of hormonal shots. Uh, some of you might be even going for a vagina rejuvenation. Um, 
there is something here about taking care of the health of your vagina. Hmm. Some of you are really getting into um, oral sex, um, cunnilingus especially, and you're starting to not feel disgusted by it. That's kind of what I'm hearing. You're starting to really enjoy it. You might have been doing mirror exercises where you're really into um, looking at the component parts of your vagina and just enjoying them, not being afraid or ashamed of them. <laughs> And some of you have decided to grow your hair and go natural and this is giving you a lot of freedom. It's making you feel like you're connecting with your wild side and it's liberating you from patriarchal demands of beauty. You're not no longer playing up to these standards anymore. It's a true awakening. I feel Saturn and Aquarius is bringing this up for you guys. Some of you have broken or chipped something, a nail, a vase, an object, and you're really bummed out about it. Maybe you're filing it as you are watching this reading, if it was a nail. Some of you, this could be the, um, the holder of your coffee cup. So I'm sorry, um, I don't exactly know this holder. I think it's called, right? The ceramic holder of the coffee cup. So, um, bitten. I feel that some of you might have been bitten either by a pet, bitten or scratched by a pet that you own or somebody some some pet in your neighborhood maybe a neighbor's pet and others of you i'm getting a love bite you got a love bite from somebody with whose names begin with a c whose names names maybe this person has more than one name and both of them begin with a c like uh, their first name is a c their last name is a c let's dig through You've been holding something tight, a secret. You don't want people to know. You're afraid that if people find out, they will use that against you. For some of you, this could be even a secret love, a secret love, a secret affair, a secret project, and even a secret sum of money that you've been stashing and you're afraid that if people find out, they might want to share of it. Some of you could be secretly pregnant as well. You are afraid. You see how tightly wound and kept this bud is you're afraid that if people find out it's almost like an all-seeing eye that is formed here they will use this against you big brother style but i am not getting the sense of that i am getting a sense that the more mysterious you act around it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy and the more you allow yourself to unravel yeah beautiful amber light the more joy you will experience i feel like you you are it is safe for you to ask for help i feel like at least there will be six individuals around you that can help you these don't have to be necessarily people that you're very close or intimate to this can be a lawyer this can be a doctor this can be a religious authority this can be a friend of a friend it can be um, an accountant, and it can be, you know, uh, the person that fills up the gas of your car. It can be a nanny. It can even be a tarot reader. The force of the community. You have people there that can support you. You don't have to keep things a secret. And I do feel that the more you keep them a secret, the more vulnerable you make yourself. Because if somebody finds out your secret, they can use it to manipulate you. While if you come clean, if you're open and transparent, nobody can use anything against you because everybody knows already what you are made of and who you are. So there is a fear of failure, a fear of making mistakes, a fear of being seen as less perfect than. And you need to dive deeply into this issue at the moment and try to understand where does this fear come from and how can I overcome it? You're already perfect as you are. And you are loved and protected. Do you see how this beautiful coat? It's almost like a coat, right? Some of you could potentially buy a very comfortable coat and you don't want to take it off. It makes you feel so good you want to wear it around the house. Mm -hmm. Feeling loved, feeling protected. A mother can help you in this situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be your own mother if you're having problems with her or she's not around anymore. 
a mother, somebody who is a mother, somebody who has this nurturing maternal qualities can help you with the secret. Some of you are going through a phoenix awakening. Do you see it? How gorgeous is this? And it's happening because you finally decided to accept your feelings. Um, a lot of you have been fighting your feelings. I'm getting that some of you are feeling a lot of anger, anger at institutions, maybe a court decision that came against you, maybe struggling with parents. I'm also hearing some issues regarding an arranged marriage. I'm also hearing that some of you are incredibly angry and sad about the results of an examination or an evaluation. This can be both for your business, um, but it can also be for your studies. and. I'm hearing that you finally are able to accept these feelings. You're finally accepting, yes, I am angry. Yes, I am sad. Yes, this really pisses me off. And this moment can give you a couple of days when you feel very vulnerable and like you can't get out of bed, like you're really upset. But then you're just processing these emotions. And I feel that Eventually, you're going to start feeling all this life force pouring through you. There will be ideas, solutions, people that come and help you, messages, signs everywhere that are bringing a lot of light into your life. So you're finally able, by feeling these feelings, these negative feelings, you're finally able to unleash your heart. Your heart has been stuck. It has been kept like this, like a fist because you are not allowing your feelings to come through to truly feel them you denied them you run away from them you pretended like they don't exist and it was giving you headaches it was giving you a low mood but now you're finally feeling them i feel some of you are finally admitting that you love somebody that you never wanted to fall in love with but it happened it's love you know it's not rational it's not logical mm -hmm. And some of you are going over some intense feelings regarding still feeling emotionally connected to a parent that was very rude to you or disrespected you. And I'm hearing for some of you abused you. But you're burning through these feelings and like the phoenix, you're rising. You're rising here. I see this, the core of the phoenix bird and these are its wings and they're green, white and pink, the colors of the heart chakra. It's almost like you have a guardian angel protecting you in this period. That's why I put it over my peach selenite heart here to bless you. Some of you are dealing with really unconventional people. For some of you, the cheetah could be the spirit animal. I see these spots over here. Or you're very drawn to cheetahs in this period. Their masculine energy, solar energy, vigor and stamina and speed. Some of you really love cats or love big cats in general. And some of you are dealing with Leos or a very fast man. Hmm. Some of you could be competing for a marathon as well. Others of you are dealing with really original characters. So this is a purple daffodil that snuck into my rose petal group. <laughs> so I'm getting a sense that, yeah, you're, going, you're about to meet an individual that is just out of this world. They dress very cool or funky. They think in very original ways. Aquarius energy to the max. Maybe some Sagittarius as well. Very wild child. Somebody that will inspire you. Somebody that you'll have some really interesting discussions with. Bordering on philosophy, technology. But also I'm hearing rude sarcasm. <laughs> some of you are dyeing your hair in two colors. Two tones. Or you're cooking something that is colored in two tones are expanding into so much light this group overall had this beautiful energy of expanding into light expanding into light some of you are sewing you're mending your clothes i feel that there have been some moth holes that you need to tend to and your precious clothing some of you are going to get some of your clothes um redone at a tailor and others of you i see this symbolically as you're trying to fill a hole you're trying to fill a hole in your relationships in your heart in your body but i feel that with all this white brownish energy your sense of stability has been eroded mm -hmm. your confidence your light 
you feel like somebody's draining you of energy, like maybe somebody put an evil eye on you, but it's not. It's just that your own self-belief has diminished in this period. You're a little bit tired. You need to rest and you need to start believing in yourself and this will give you in turn a lot of spiritual protection. I'm getting that a lot of you will be hugged in this period. You'll receive unexpected hugs. And for some of you, butterflies are incredibly significant. Many of you will receive angelic presences in your dreams. You see how beautiful this is, like a cocoon of love. You're going to have some really yummy dreams. You're going to wake up feeling like honey has been poured all over your body, but it felt good, not sticky. It felt like a lot of warm light entered you. Renewed faith, that's what I'm hearing with your group. Renewed faith and optimism. God bless you, my loves. This is what I feel I had for you. I feel like the messages have stopped coming in. Really hope you have enjoyed this reading. I hope it inspires you. Please take a really good care of you. I love you. See you in my next one. Bye.